Almost like you built a rocket or something. More like I built a satellite. Yes, you built a satellite and then had to help with the rocket stuff. Monty only knows how to put fuel in it. Yep, real entrepreneur there. <laughs> Don't worry, he hires people to do most of the work for him anyways. Oh, I'm sure. Anyways, I'm surprised you got it down in a month. That stuff usually takes years. You see, I don't got that long. I imagine you wouldn't. Now, Moon. What? Before you head home, I want you to understand, making a satellite takes a lot of time. A lot of time, especially with how complex it was. Uh-huh. We built it a month. You understand where I'm coming from, right? Things might not work the way we want them to. Or something else will happen, more drastic. Right. I'll keep an eye on it. But you need to let me know ahead of time when you plan to bring the other one here. I will. I gotta work out a plan for that first. <laughs> Imagine you would. Not to mention I still gotta deal with the amalgam. Right, that... thing, right? Yep. Both you and Sun. We love other dimensions. I think other dimensions tend to love you a bit more. Oh, I'm sure. <laughs> well, look, good luck with whatever you're going to do over there. Uh, I just hope Sun didn't lose his mind. I'm certain he did. Probably. <sighs> <sighs> well, it's been rather entertaining. You can say that. I'll see you out of the very... What? More British man? More British man. You have well, fun with that. Boy, did I get uh, tired of that what headache. Am I talking about? I'm leaving. See ya. Bye bye. Have fun. Reason, uh, You'll have fun with that. Yeah. Mm. Still hate that. What? Moon? Hi. Moon! Oh, thank God. It's been like a week. I told you it was going to be a week. Good, you're back. Good, you're back. I've, had, I've done a lot of. You're going to be pissed. How much sleep did you get? I slept. That's not what you're going to be angry about. It's the other stuff you're going to be angry about. What'd you do? I didn't do anything. The... I don't know who did it. But the amalgamite thing? Uh-huh. It's not trapped anymore. That's where I figured that was going. Okay. I was going to... I I also tried talking to, to, to Foxy. Funtime Foxy. And Chica. Glamrock Chica. We have too many Chicas. And, and, the, and uh, the, it was just... Man, I'm sure that went well. Oh, well, better than expected, actually. Hmm. But the Amalgamite was there and uh, threatened to kill them. And all that stuff. You know, classic Amalgamite all right. stuff. <sighs> but, uh, welcome back! Yep, satellite's launched. It is? What's the next steps, then? <sighs> we gotta make a plan to lure him into the portal. Or a portal. I was meaning to talk to you about that. So, um, I... I got curious because I, I didn't want to sit down doing nothing because Earth was taking care of everything here. I could finally leave the place a little bit. <laughs> um, so what I did um, after the whole talking to Fox, to the Funtime Foxy and, and actually no, but before I talked to them, I talked to Golden Freddy. Golden Freddy gave me some ideas of how we could possibly fight back against the, the Eclipse. He said we could try making another star. Won't work. He said it might work, like, he has reality. No offense to Golden Freddy. The star's not magic. I know. It's science. But I'm thinking now, right? We don't have to fight him off with the thing. We just need to push him. Or I can just make a gun. Do you think that would work? On Eclipse. You literally thrashed him verbally so bad he left. <laughs> yes, but if we're fighting him. He's not going to just sit there and take it. I don't doubt it. What? I would not be surprised if he just stood there and took it as he laughed and said some big, oh, I'm the big bad guy monologue. That's what I meant to say. If we could push him into a certain place. Okay. You assume I can't shoot him, but you can push him. With the right amount of power. What would the shooting thing even be composed of? Rick Sanchez's portal gun? Sure. You know how to make it? Good learn. Computer! Welcome back, Moon. Hi. Your brother ended up just, like, sitting quietly for a while. Good. He knows his place. 
I'll show you your place, you tin can. I'll show you yours underneath my boots. You don't have feet. Anyway, uh... It's a metaphor, you Begin idiot. analysis and, uh, blueprinting of how to make a Rick Sanchez portal gun. You've prohibited that. Break prohibition. What's the code to break prohibition? One, 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 one. Incorrect. I tried. I believe what you said is that you didn't want to be tempted with transporting people to wrong dimensions. That was the other me. This is the new me. I don't trust you now. What? I don't trust you to not do that. I don't. Okay, then program a portal gun into your system. No. I need to call Monty. You want to call Monty? Monty's been working on, like, how to not have a portal and just do it yourself. Ugh. Oh, God. Okay. Okay. Look, I was still thinking that the only way that we can kind of fight fire was with fire. Stars don't work in other dimensions. That's why we have this plan. I know. So if we brought one, so we can't reality warp one. We can't make another one. You can't make another one. The way that these stars are made is extremely complicated. F Golden Freddy said that we could potentially make one. It won't be as powerful. Then that's not fighting fire with fire. That's fighting a flamethrower with a squirt gun. A good analogy. <sighs> okay. I know you're trying to, like, think of what to do. I understand that. We'll work on it together. I'm going to be honest. Golden Freddy's good when it comes to the magic department. Magic does jack all of this star. <sighs> well, it might, actually. What? The star wasn't designed with magic as, like, a concept that existed to the old me. Are you saying, like, Superman logic here where he's- it might be weak to magic? You don't know. Okay. But we also lost our ability to do magic. We can't really regain it that easily. So if you want to try the fight fire with fire thing, you could I try wanna... talking to Golden. Go through the explanation real quick for what Golden told me. Is that all right? Floor is yours. What Golden told me is that with the way you made your star thing, wh whatever it was, it was reality warping. And then I, then he said that there's other things to it that there's other than just reality warping. He goes on to explain this in Infinity Gauntlet kind of way. Infinity Stones, practically. I'm going to be honest, I don't like it. You know. <sighs> if anything... Maybe, this is a big if, we could make, like, a one-off, like, super bomb of star power. You did not use all the star power in the universe, after all. That is correct. The star is supposed to collectively gain power over time. So what, we trick Eclipse long enough where it just blows up and it sends him in? More like I kind of make an unstable source and potentially blow up the daycare. What? With how this would have to go in order to launch him from wherever he's standing into the portal, it could blow up, like, both of these structures. Destruction of the daycare would be at 95.3% certainty. <sighs> Basically kind of like a compressed atom bomb. Why would he fall out for in this? Okay, okay. He's a god. Do you have any knowledge of how to do this stuff? I assume I... the computer has it still saved. Negative. You deleted that from my systems far before. I can learn. No, no, I, I had a theory in mind. Maybe Kill Code has some of those memories? He was in your body, it would make sense, right? Computer? What's the probability of that? Kill code has been part of your system code for your entire duration. His memories might be skewed, but they would be complete. So, like, we talking 70, 30, 80, 40? 98.5 percent accuracy. 95 percent. That's pretty good. 98.5 percent. <clears throat> this is why you never listen to me. I'm sorry, I was talking. The thing is, I don't know where kill code is. We didn't give him a GPS either, did we? No! Do you know where Kill Code is? Let me answer that for my brother. No. Thank you. At least somebody here understands that. 
How are we gonna find him then? He was learning how to be good, right? I guess. Help people kind of like understand life. Wait, he had your body. We made him a copy kind of of my body. Well, yeah, a copy of your body. We can just look through newspapers, see if, uh, I, don't, I don't know. Uh, uh, I was gonna say he might be at a Buddhist temple. You think he's at a Buddhist temple? I mean, hey, what better way to learn life than to become a Buddhist monk? At least the baldness would be a, a, a pre pre prerequisite. Okay. I am gonna hit you. <laughs> okay. Where do we even start searching then? Uh, computer. Yes. I'll upload the other half of you to also help with this search. Start searching for newspaper clippings of another version of me. Found. That. Recent reports of a soup drive nearby, 15 miles out. Boy, he is really just going like the, hey, look, I'm the nice guy. Was a community soup drive? Yes, he was giving soup. There's a picture of Moon handing soup. Hey, that was my popularity. <sighs> okay, okay. Which of us goes then? I... Moon should. All right. Any reason for that? He trusts you more than he would trust Sun. That's fair. Do I just sit here then and, or, or like? You don't gotta just sit here, um. Okay. Uh. I'm gonna do this. Computer, give full admin access to Sun. Are you positive? Override code 75732. Command code accepted. Full admin access given to you. Which means now the computer has to listen to you no matter what. I, I, I'm not good with the... Which, which means you can go to the computers over there and you can look into any signature, like any energy signatures that could maybe pinpoint where Eclipse is. If we can find where he is and maybe like send a, hey, fuck you. Okay. 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 Um. <sighs> So, computer, you're gonna help Sun with that. I've already scanned most of the Earth. Did you scan outside the Earth? You wish for me to scan outside of the Earth's parameters. That could take eons. That's why you're getting another person to help you. Okay. I'm gonna be honest. Uh, okay. He was in your head, right? Yes. Maybe subconsciously deep down somewhere, maybe you, you might know something that like interests him and maybe he'd want to go observe um well i mean i want well, i like cyberpunk i guess that's a start um i like roxanne nah, he hates roxanne um I i'll think about okay. it yeah keep thinking i'm gonna go to the soup kitchen that feels so weird to say yeah a little bit i'll be back uh it's nice to be back we're gonna do a video later Okay. Go ahead and I pick mean, a game. What game do I possibly play? <sighs> Might I recommend a game? What? I have a recommendation for one of your games. Have you heard of Jumbo's Kitchen? A popular game that's not frustrating. Okay. I, I guess I'll play it. Good. Now, could you please help direct my resources so I can scan for Eclipse? I, I don't know. It, it could be anywhere on Earth or outside of Earth or, or anything like that. Like Moon said, it could be anywhere. Well, you're entirely helpful, aren't you? Okay, okay, um, maybe he wants to be poetic or something and be on a sun? You understand how much power comes from a sun, yes? I'm just trying to think in the shoes of Eclipse here. You're not helping me. Fine. I shall look into the sun's surface. Okay. Okay. Uh...